Courtney Love. Here is Courtney. She's at the launch of Ferragamo's fragrance in New York City. Why the coat, Courtney? All right, why? You need this ugly coat like Kurt Cobain needed a hole in the head. What is wrong with you? Well, okay, all the, like, so many girls are doing a 90s grunge thing now, so it's almost like Courtney Love is paying homage to herself because she kind of <laughs> looks like she did 15 years ago. And she looks great in that black dress. I mean, I, I mean... Oh, she, are you out of your mind? But she does, come on, we're so used to her having things that are undone. Her shoes fine, are untied. Her shoes are not tied. I know, but for, <laughs> look, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of something nice to say. That's the dress sweet. is You're flattering sweet. on her. It looks, it's a nice dress. It looks good, her body looks good. I actually think her face doesn't look that bad. What? She for Courtney Love. I mean, Wait, she looks kind of are you good. Look? I just want to say one thing here, and I want to apologize on behalf to all our viewers, I don't think we should have shown this picture. In fact, I am I, No, I think the press <laughs> is wrong to release these death photos. They didn't do it with <laughs> And they should not have done <laughs> In certain parts, I do agree with George. Your it is a flashback good. to what she used to wear, not necessarily look like. And that's a good thing? <laughs> no, no, what do you think? The only say. way I can describe this is to use your favorite word. Streetwalker. <laughs> I mean, this is when I saw this, I thought it was Starlet or Streetwalker. It's not right, you guys. The thing with Courtney Love is we've seen her look good in the past. This she the can do it. Her. She can't make up her mind if she wants to be a lady or uh, she wants to still be a member. She can't remember. Old rocker. <laughs> she can't remember. <laughs> No, wait, 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 do not attack her for wearing fur. She told me personally, no one killed that animal. It died of an accidental overdose. That's the whole other thing. Marc Jacobs. Yes. Woo! Marc Jacobs yes. is at Paris Fashion Week wearing Comme de Garçon. <laughs> am, am I wrong? Is Marc Jacobs gay? Because I'm getting a vibe here. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Can you imagine? Look at that couple. Can you imagine <laughs> opening your door? <laughs> Hi, we moved in next door. Can we borrow a cup of lube? I mean, look at this cup. This is actually a men's look. This is from um, Comme des Garçons. What? Yes, this yeah, is men's Comme des Garçons spring 2012 collection. Good. Would you wear this outfit? No, George. I would not wear this. Would you wear the leather outfit? No. <laughs> Speaking of leather. No. No. Speaking of leather. I knew it. All I know, and I'm hoping that somewhere a very confused Michelle Williams just opened up what she thought was her suitcase, and she's found assless chaps and a biker <laughs> helmet and a biker jacket and, and poppers. I, 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 and don't forget the lube. And lube! <laughs> oh, my God. Poppers. <laughs> Fergie. Wearing I'm sorry, boring. So green. <laughs> She's wearing BCBG Max Azria and her shoes are Prada. Uh, she looks like a menopausal pool table. I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> even Al Gore isn't that green. I mean, I don't understand. <laughs> and the shoes. Were, I, but tell me about the shoes, okay. somebody, because I, I guess she's wearing it to say it's official. Using meth is now the second dumbest thing she's ever done. <laughs> Johnny, if you look at that picture, he is wearing a jacket, he is wearing a vest, he is wearing a sweater, mm -hmm. he is wearing a scarf, he is wearing a hat. He looks like Winona Ryder trying to sneak out of sacks. I, <laughs> I, 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 I just... Donatella Versace and Anna Wintour. Oh! Okay, they're at the Versace Spring 2012 presentation in Paris. Anna is wearing Celine, pre-fall 2012, and of course we know who Donatella is wearing. Who is this again? Anna Wintour. Oh, I thought it was Mary Kay and Ashley. They look like the infused dogs in the Sarah McLaughlin commercial. You know? Sarah Jessica Parker. She is at Paris Fashion Week. Her dress is Louis Vuitton Spring 2005. It is elegant and it's slutty. You know, it, it's it's like getting a BJ from the Queen Elizabeth. You know, it's like, <laughs> do you think this is appropriate for a woman her age? I think it's appropriate for uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, who is, you know, very famous for being Carrie Bradshaw. Yes. I, I actually like this a lot. Carrie Bradshaw's already got Parkinson's. Let's <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. Oh. Here she is at a Golden Globe after party wearing Prada. And I give her credit. We all forget, and we are a fashion show. We should give 
Lindsay credit because she is the girl who first started the trend of matching your shoes and your bag to your cold sore. And I... <laughs> seen breast sagging this low since I was on the beach with Steven Tyler. I mean, I have never... <laughs> Madonna. Oh, please go easy on me. Madonna is at the W.E. from your New York City. She's wearing Marquesa. I love the dress, that extra fabric, all that wrinkly fabric. Reminds me of her knees. I think it is just... <laughs> I think she looks great. I was there, and she was with the boyfriend. There's a huge gap between them. Uh, it's called her vagina. And it's just... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> this is I think just... she looks great. You do. Oh, I like the look. You don't I like the look? it's just so ridiculous. And it's weird, because she was looking so great on the press tour for W.E., and then all of a sudden, the last two things she's worn have been horrible. Yeah, but wait a second. She's getting a little older, and, and, and she, her hot flashes are getting so bad, her gynecologist has to be treated for third-degree burns. And I think... <laughs> I think... So knowing awesome. all this, so she looks amazing. Amazing. She looks beautiful. Madonna looks beautiful. But that dress is <laughs> ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. Helen Mirren. Helen is at the Dolce & Gabbana fashion show in Milan. She's wearing a dress and coat by Dolce & Gabbana. This teaches you a lesson. You What's do not, the lesson? The lesson is you do not drink and dress. It is. It's a good she lesson. She usually looks so chic. Yes. I, I, I mean, uh, the dress, the coat, the bag. I have not seen three things so shamelessly fighting for attention since Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> To say. I know. I, it, it's, she looks confused. This look is confusing to me. The shoes, the bag. We're so used to seeing Helen Mirren so elegante, so put together. This was just not good. But she's a MILF. That's a <laughs> Metamucil taker. I'd like to. I mean. <laughs> You gotta see this. We busted her, Joan. She wore this dress before. Yeah, so look at this. She actually wore this at another event, the dress, but this time she wore these stupid gloves. What yeah. is going on with <laughs> How do you explain this? Without the gloves, it would be very chic. That, yes, yeah. without the gloves. She's hiding her man hands. Look at the original <laughs> picture. <laughs> Sorry, and I love her, and I know her, and I adore her, but yeah. she looks like an old hooker. You, you, know, you know what's in that purse? Not handcuffs mm. and not lubricant. Arthritis meds. That's what's in that purse. <laughs> okay. Vanessa's dress, blech. It reminds me of two things. Rihanna's old red weave and uh, <laughs> my last period. And I'll, tell you oh, the, yeah, yeah. and I'll tell you the truth. I don't miss either one. I don't miss either one. My fashion face-off vote goes to Vanessa! Yeah. which is a statement she'll never hear at any award show. Oh. So I'm glad she heard it here. Oh, long as you're not saying that about me, I'm good. <laughs> we never say things while you're sitting there. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Kim is at the Kanye West fashion show in Paris. She's wearing DW by Kanye West, and her shoes are Kanye West for Giuseppe Zanotti. In this outfit, let me just put it this way, Kim is like a grand Carmel Frappuccino. Yeah. She's cool, she's creamy, and she goes down easy. I just... like the most is that she looks a little bit she looks fresh faced it looks like she's she's not... done something i think <laughs> well i was thinking she just has lighter makeup on which i kind of like and but she's it's... bleached just her, her sideburns that's not fur that's her sideburns <laughs> <Bleached them out. laughs> i do lo i love the fur i think it's beautiful it's a bit overwhelming and the shoes are great they kind of remind me of balenciaga first of all rihanna in that that top ladies if you're watching at home here is a game to play Pause the TV and ask your boyfriend or husband, quick, what color are Rihanna's eyes? Uh, and if they answer and they know it, 
you will now know they are gay. It's a great game. January Jones. Here's January Jones at the Paley Fest honoring Mad Men. She's wearing Jenny Packham. Mm -hmm. Those black tights, what do you have to hide? You're a beautiful young woman. You do not need to hide your gorgeous legs. She's a beautiful girl. But I, I just, and we got the hair. We got to get rid of this pink Why hair, Why that stupid pink stripe in her hair? I mean, how desperate for attention would somebody be to put that color hair, you know, in your head? <laughs> <laughs> She dated uh, Ashton Kutcher when she first came to Hollywood, mm. and I think that explains her kind of like fashion choices. I think he literally f***ed her brains out. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks. Oh. Elizabeth oh. is at the Hunger Games premiere in London wearing Bill Blast. Spring 2005. She is tall, she is gorgeous, she is elegant, and I really, really wish I knew who she was. <laughs> I think... <laughs> does that dress... That dress is gorgeous. That, some dresses say spring is here. This dress says spring is here! Spring is here! She looks amazing. Even the neon color, which can ordinarily be too bright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're 100% right. Oh! And you are right. This is screaming for attention, but she's in the Hunger Games. This is a really big moment for her. And she has really brought out like her big guns for this whole press junket. Um, she wore a beautiful raspberry Marc Jacobs in Paris, and she wore this orange Ellie Saab mm -hmm. in Berlin. I mean, everything she's wearing has been amazing, and it's you know she's really supporting the film. And look at look at her. Look, she was uh, didn't she play Laura Bush in the movie W? <laughs> Did she? Yeah, mm -hmm. which is strange casting because you look at her, and you know she's good in bed. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I think she's fabulous. <laughs> I love the dress. I love, love it. Me. Even that little back thing, you know. In the old days when I was growing up, that meant you were wearing a, a maxi pad. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, he had them like, yes! No. Yes! And he clicked. You were tired. Oh my god! <laughs> that is wrong. Yes! I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. I love this dress. And my only flaw that I could make on it oh, is that I wish she would have lined it because you can see her legs where they separate inside the dress and that's always a, a minute detail that bugs me but other than that right, yeah. she looks amazing okay. I love it with the blonde hair the coloring is perfect I mean just head to toe perfection you know this color is so juicy I just want to sink my teeth into yeah. it you know? <laughs> Selma Hayek here is Selma. She's at LAX wearing Stella McCartney. All I know is the unibrow uh, in Frida <laughs> was more flattering to her than this outfit. I think it's just... <laughs> Sorry. It's Catherine Heigl, and she's in Los Angeles. She's wearing a lemon-colored pair of jeans. And this is a more ladies to lunch way of doing it. It's a bouclé jacket. The, the Valentino bag is amazing. Yeah. But it's a bit more, a more serious look. I think those are great, those bright jeans. She is carrying in her hands the total receipts from her last four films. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you notice that picture. Catherine is laughing because she just showed those $20 bills to an old homeless woman, and then she ran away. <laughs> and uh... <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is at the Hunger Games screen in the New York City. She's wearing Calvin Klein. I adorable young. I, I I love the way the dress fits and the body. The body looks great, which makes sense because her father is the in the the concrete business, mm. and she is built absolutely like a brick <laughs> house. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, mean I, I love it. It's so beautiful. On the runway, it was shown much lower. The plunge was really low, but it looks like they sewed it up to accommodate for her fuller figure, which is great. I mean, otherwise her boobs would be falling out. And I understand because of her Angelina Jolie and Jennifer Aniston have bonded, because they're saying, well, this girl must be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Kev? I just love Jack Lawrence. I think she's got this amazing way of pushing the boundaries of, of being sexy without taking it too far. Like, she's sexy, but it's effortless. She's barely got any makeup on. Her hair is just natural. I mean, she's stunning. This dress is gorgeous. I love the color of it. But, I mean, what can you say is bad about this? Mm. Nothing. The hair? 
Um, all right. I'm just being honest. I don't love the hair. I don't love the hair. I wish. Um, Wait, how is that different than your hair? Other than the bangs. Woo! No, she looks beautiful. She looks beautiful. I will tell you, you how. You look beautiful. I don't have stupid bangs like that. I don't oh, like. Right. She's Bang. I don't like the stupid bang. She's I'm just 21. being honest. I don't like the bang. The I think she needs to push it off to the side and show her beautiful face. I just think it's too heavy on her. Beyonce. Here is Beyonce at Michelle Obama's fundraising dinner in New York City. She is wearing a dress by Victoria Beckham, and her shoes are Nicholas Kirkwood. Looking gorgeous, amazing, and an Obama event. How refreshing as an American that a pretty girl can wear a blue dress around a president again. <laughs> not worry. Yes. This is an amazing dress. I think every woman over 30 should own this dress. It's like it has a nice plunge. It's not too low. It's sexy, but it's still conservative. It has sleeves. A lot of women find it really hard to find sexy dresses with sleeves. She looks banging. Like, it's unreal. Yeah. It really is. And that dress is timeless. It's something that, like you said, every woman should have because you could wear it forever. It's, it's a cut that will you know, proceed time, especially when it comes to fashion. I agree. I love the dress, love the hair, makeup, everything, the body, fierce. But that necklace, oh my god. It looks <coughs> like something I got like spring break 92 in the Bahamas, like the beaded necklace. Yeah. Like it's so, you know, that beaded one, it's just so, I don't, I didn't get that at all. I'm amazed at the body. At, the, at three mm -hmm. months, my god, after having a baby, when I had Melissa, I was wearing a hospital gown <laughs> and a wet bra <laughs> to her college graduation. <laughs> I mean, it's like, We have our number two musty look of the week, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Here's Jennifer at the American Idol Illumination Show. She's wearing Michael Kors Resort 2012. And that's how you show a leg. Mm -hmm. That's how you walk down a staircase. The color is gorgeous. And neon, you know, very often could swallow most women up, but not J-Lo because she always does a swallowing. And I think that is... <laughs> Neon's <laughs> neons are really big for spring. And she looks great here. I would have liked to have seen it with the belt because anytime you put a black belt on your waist, it makes your waist look smaller and just gives you definition. But I'm not going to fault her because she looks incredible. But she put the black uh, on her wrist, which I thought was very, very interesting. And I, <laughs> Why? I, wait, no, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Joe? Why? Now, the, it's actually a watch, and I love that because the boyfriend is young, and she can now go home and show Casper what time it is. See, sweetheart, the big hand is on the 12. And the little hand is on the eight. And mommy is going to be home soon to give you a good night. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> but I think the dress is gorgeous. gorgeous. I love the color of the dress. I really do. But I really think that this should have been lined with a thicker fabric so that it was straight. Because when she moves, you get all this extra ruching. And to me, she's always immaculate from head to toe, especially when it comes to tailoring. I love that she didn't do the black belt. I think it would have been a bit predictable. I love that she kept it without the belt. The color's gorgeous, head to toe, phenomenal. Sierra, here she is. She's in New York City. Her shirt is Gucci, her jewelry is Givenchy. She looks like Donald Trump and Pamela Anderson. <laughs> She looks like she is the president of the hair club for skanks. And, and I'm also a member. <laughs> I mean, if you block out her face, she's gorgeous, first of all. Yes. Sarah's so beautiful. You block out her face, it could be Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, and I'm sorry, Miley Cyrus before she cut her hair. It's weird. I mean, it's like, she can do whatever she wants because she's so beautiful, but it's kind of Rihanna-ish, no? It's weird. It's really weird. Well, wait, weird. It, I like this because, like, when a girl makes expensive things with inexpensive things, with cheap things, I mean, like, the jacket costs $3,500, but her <laughs> was still 10 bucks. And I like that. Here is Tara Reid. She's at the American Pie premiere in Sydney, Australia. She's wearing Christian King. I think she looks beautiful. I, the dress color maybe is kind of like a tall drink of dirty water, but I think she looks, no, she, come on. She I looks, thought that was the bong water. Brand the, the bong water. <laughs>
<laughs> but she's beautiful, and I... she has survived. I've watched a boob job. She's had messed up liposuction. But then again, that is the risk you take if you're stupid enough to get plastic surgery. Ah, shoot, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She looks beautiful. For Tara Reid, she looks beautiful. I would have liked to see maybe the hair up and no earrings, but hey, I'm not going to say anything bad because she looks amazing. I vote most improved. It yeah. makes me so happy to see her like this. It really does. You know, whether it's because someone's forced her down that road or she's done it willingly, she looks Great. Yeah. No, and she props to her. Really. I agree. She's an adorable girl. She's actually a really sweet girl, if you ever meet her. I'm sure she you is. Met. She's she really the is. nicest girl, and I think she's just been through so many ups and downs. So it's so good to see her looking better than ever, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Um, so I'm with you, George. I do wish yeah. the hair was maybe a little shorter, a little more stylish, but she, I think she looks fantastic. And I love the shiny gray. It makes her look like a dolphin, you know? Mm -hmm. and <laughs> It's sick. And as this is Tara Reed, we just know sooner or later we're going to see her blowhole. <laughs> and it's just so exciting. <laughs> oh, <Joe>. Okay. <laughs> it's time for Starlet or Street Girl. Oh! I love it. I love this mm. Okay, let's see mm. little black dress looking over her shoulder like someone is going to take something from it. Could be Jennifer Aniston, but I don't think so. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I take that back. <laughs> take that back, because no actress would ever walk away from the camera. So I am going to say Streetwalker. Yeah! <laughs> Juliana. OK, finally, Kesha's back. This is <laughs> I say Starlet, it's Kesha, right? Kesha. Georgie. I don't know. Those Letterman jackets are very trendy now. Isabel Morant did them, and Gautier always does a riff on them. But those shoes are made for walking the streets. So I'm going to have to say Streetwalker again. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly? The same thing as George. I don't see any red soles underneath there, exactly. so I'm going with Streetwalker. <laughs> I think she's a star. It looks like Nicole Kibben. You see those legs? They're, and it looks like she's leaving the Letterman show. So I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with Scarlett. Okay. And the woman who treats the sidewalk like a catwalk is a streetwalker. Oh. Oh. I like her because when she calls her shoes, me pumps, she means it. <laughs> Let's see another picture. Don't let a sweet walk on this one. Oh. Well, first of all, hookers know better than to wear bright colored shoes because you can see them while they're running from the cops. So that's already a mistake. That's true. Scarlet. <laughs> I, I don't, I've seen a lot of these chicks walking around Vegas before, so I say street walker for sure. Oh. For sure. Well, well the I jacket am. looks kind of like something Rihanna would wear in her new phase, but that necklace looks very expensive. This yeah. is definitely not Rihanna, because that's not Rihanna's body. And those shoes are very trendy. These neon yeah. pumps are super trendy. So I'm going to have to say Starlet. Maybe someone yeah. like Maya. Remember Maya? Yeah. yeah. Maya. That's what I was going to say. Kel. I, I mean, it's really hard, because I look at it, and I'm like, you could very easily, like, put my foot in my mouth. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Starlet. Hope for the best. Who is it? Who? Ruth. I say, um, I think it's a star. It looks like a soul train dancer. So I'm, <laughs> thinking, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking it's uh, Jenny Craig's Mariah Carey. Oh. Yeah. Well, good guess. The damsel in distress denim is Amber Rose, OK? Oh, no. oh. And that's why this game is not fair this time, because neither side of my panel says, girl that Kanye West banged for a while. And so <laughs> We've got time for one more picture, please, if you will. We do. I oh. <laughs> Either Wendy Williams or some other guy. Um, <laughs> this, of course, this glamazon in grape is RuPaul. <laughs> Why are you wearing Betty White's 
Tanya. <laughs>